Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial, we're going to go through numbers up to 20. Right. Firstly, do you recall the three symbols that we use when comparing numbers? The three symbols, let's write them on the right hand side here. There's one which is like this, which means less than, equals, and more than, or you can say greater than. So let's work through our first example. Now suppose we have two numbers. We've got 12 and we've got 17. So we've got number 12 and number 17. Now which of these symbols we're going to use? Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a number line. Let's do that over here. Now don't forget a number line is simply a line with numbers. It can start at any number and it can end at any number. In this tutorial we're doing numbers up to 20 but we're really going to concentrate on numbers between 10 and 20. So let's write down all the numbers between 10 and 20 in order. So we've got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that is our number line from 10 to 20. So let's have a look at our question again. We had number 12. Now for number 12, Let's put a little arrow next to it. There we go. There's number 12. And the other number is 17. So 12 is less than 17. It comes first on the number line. So 12 is less than 17. So which arrow do we use? We use this one here. 12 is less than 17. Now how do we know that's correct? Well, if we look at which way it's pointing, it's pointing at the smaller number. 12 is the smaller number. That's how we work it out. Now let's have a look at our second example. Now this time, let's suppose we have the number 19 and we've got the number 16. So we've got 19 and 16. Which arrow do we use this time? Let's have a look at our number line. Where is number 19? It is over here. And where is number 16? It is over here. So 19 is more than 16. 19 is more than 16. So the arrow has to go this way. 19 is more than 16. Remember, always double check. Is the arrow pointing to the smaller number? What well, is pointing at 16? And 16 comes first on our number line. So that is correct. 19 is greater than 16. Now the third example. You don't need to do this because it's quite easy. But just to illustrate, suppose we had the number 15 and we had another number 15. Well, how easy is that? They're both the same. We can even plot it on the number line. But both of the plots are in the same place. So 15 equals 15. And that is how we do, how we compare numbers up to 20 using the number line. Always, always remember the arrow is pointing to the smaller number.